Your real estate market update. Hi, I'm Jeff Chubb with the Chubb Realty Group by eXp Realty. Wanted to chat with you today about what's going on in the real estate market throughout the state of Massachusetts. With seven months in the books, we're starting to get a really great idea of what the story for 2019 is going to be like. For the most part, for towns throughout the state of Massachusetts, we're seeing increased inventory, decreased sales, and price appreciation. To start it off, I figured we'd take a look at the state of Massachusetts as a whole, where we've seen inventory levels up by 1.90%. That's for the single family market. Meanwhile, in the condo market, we've seen inventory up by 22.98%. So with inventory up, what does that mean for sales? Well, in the single family market, sales are down by 0.42%. For the condo market, sales are down slightly more, but still not that bad with a 2.62% decrease in the amount of sales activity for the first seven months. Meanwhile, appreciation year over year for single families is up by 3.79%, and for condos, it's up by 3.92%. So to go from the whole state of Massachusetts, I figured we'd jump to the city of Boston and see what's going on there first. In the city of Boston, again, we're seeing increased inventory levels, but at much higher rates. For the condo market, we've seen in inventory increase by 41.84%. Meanwhile, sales for the seven month, first seven months for the condo market are down by 8.63%. So if inventory is way up, sales are down, what does that mean for prices? Well, prices in the condo Boston market are up by 4.88%. So from the condo market, what's going on for the single family markets where, for example, Hyde Park or West Roxbury, you know, there's a bunch of single family segments in that is considered as part of the Boston market. Well, inventory in the single family markets are up by 14.29%. Meanwhile, sales for single families in Boston are down by 1.79% with Home price appreciation, this is pretty good. Home prices are up by 12.93% for single families in Boston. Not bad if you're a homeowner in the city of Boston. I figured we'd go next to Braintree where quite frankly, they're opposite in every single segment that we're really seeing throughout the state of Massachusetts. In Braintree, inventory is down by 36.96%. Meanwhile, in Braintree, sales for the first seven months have actually increased by 6.75%. So with inventory way down, sales up, you would think home prices would be up. Well, not necessarily the case in Braintree where hits, prices are actually down year over year by 2.08%. So that's gonna leave you scratching your head a little bit trying to figure out that one. Going from Braintree, we'll jump to Milton where we've actually seen an increase in inventory growth by 37.21%. With that inventory growth, we've actually seen sales down by 2.88% and prices have actually still gone up by 3.87%. Heading over to Quincy, we've still continue to see inventory growth, but at much higher levels than some other areas with inventory growth by 33.85%. Meanwhile, sales have been off in Quincy year over year by 10.85% and prices are actually up by a pretty healthy 9.74%. Moving on down over to Weymouth, we've seen inventory grow by 33.82%. With inventory growth, we've seen sales decrease by 15.31%. And home price appreciation up by 3.01%. The Hingham market has fared just like the others. Hingham is up by 29.89% with sales down by 11.76% and home price appreciation up by 4.34%. So what is all this saying? Well, the market's starting to correct itself. We're starting to see the increased inventory to more healthy levels where quite frankly, if you're a buyer, you actually have homes to choose from and you don't have to compete with 15 other buyers in order to buy the property. Not to mention it's a great time to buy because interest rates are down around three and a half percent, offering a huge vast amount of affordability that we didn't necessarily see just six months ago. And if you're a seller, it continues to be a great market because home prices are continuing to appreciate However, we are having to put a little bit more effort into finding that buyer. Things aren't just selling overnight. Ultimately, it's a great market, whether you are a buyer or a seller. I'm Jeff Chubb with the Chubb Realty Group. Would love to chat with you a little bit more about your real estate needs and how we can help you accomplish your goals. The best number to get us at is 617-480-4000.
2600 or you can get us by email at jeff at boston2.com. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day and I look forward to hearing from you.